Hello, uh, see of uh, President uh, Philippe Boisson. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Michael. How are you? Nice to I'm... see you. Again <laughs> by Zoom, but what, what can we do? <laughs> what can we do with uh, Zoom? And uh, that's the first question that I would like to ask you. Uh, we want uh, now to look at uh, what happened in 2020. Uh, we had a lot of plans. You had a lot of plans. And... Uh, it uh, everything uh, came to the Zoom and to the YouTube and to the Facebook. Yeah, it was a really complicated year for everybody. And, and what, what to say? We were we were all on the same boat, I will say, because really the COVID, the situation of this pandemic, is still terrible. But was terrible in 2020. Really, we have to cancel all the events, all the festivals, as uh, the best event that we wanted to realize the Folkloriara, the World Sea of Folkloriara in Ufa, and to postpone all our events next year in 2021. It's coming soon now. Really, what was the most important, it was that our friends, your friends are all uh, in good health. That's the most important. And to take care of themselves. And, and we know that the culture was quite complicated situation for all type of culture in this year 2020 and all, for example, UNESCO events also were canceled. And we have done a lot of conference and events by Zoom. It's another way to work and another way to get in touch with the people. It's better to do like this and not to do nothing and not to have any contacts. And I think that it's quite the most important. Even in Sioff, we have done a lot of festival by Zoom as you have done in Israel. As we have done by internet all around the world, we have a lot of self festivals. They have realized their events by uh, by technological aspect, and really, this is not the objective of self. Of course, we want live events, but it was the solution also to to keep in touch, to get in touch, and to see that the culture is still alive. That self was doing a lot of things, and still uh, showing. A trad traditional culture and human being, we are uh, facing that, and we have done it by this uh, with this situation on, on internal uh, uh, aspect, and I think it was quite important. Now, what to say more, my friend? Uh, it is, uh, but really... before that, uh, we celebrated uh, our 50 years of anniversary, yes. and it was by Zoom, uh, by marathon. And I'll tell you what, what was my feeling, uh, were my feelings that I could see everybody to see them. And to, to, to although it was not live, but uh, it's, uh, I felt like a family. Yes, for sure. And I, I think it was a good uh, suggestion from our friend Alejandro from Mexico, our vice president. He, he started to do that also in Latin America. And that kind of workshop of marathon uh, is trying to get in touch also to dancers, musicians from all over the world, and to 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 see also that for the for our 50th anniversary on the 8th of August we have realized this big event, and really doing it uh, also um, by internet by Zoom was something very very strange at the beginning for all our members, but it was really a success because we have almost 45, 50 countries who have participated from all over the world. And I think it was a good success. And now we want to do it all the year, of course, by by digital aspect, but also by live, if we can do that next summer. But it was quite interesting, I think, as you were fully right, because it was the, 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 the mean, the, the way also to, to get in touch together, to dance, to try to, to do things. And really, um, I have seen that all the young people, all the people who are participating, have been very happy and, and enjoy, for, of course, the time that they have done this marathon, international marathon for the 50 years of CIOF. Of course, um, all the events, uh, we wanted to make something strong for 50th anniversary in 2020. And we have done it. All national sections have done also some, some events on internet. And it was quite interesting. And really, uh, we have done, I think, a lot uh, for, for that kind of situation that we are facing. And it was not easy for all of us. I know that uh, from the time of the corona, it's very funny to say it. Uh, and <laughs> I'm amazing myself. But uh, I know more people from uh, CIOF. 
all over the world. Yeah, yes, for sure. For sure. We have seen, I have seen friends that I didn't see, I, did, I haven't seen since a long time. For example, from United States, from one group who was in the Confalon Festival when I was director some 20 years ago. And it was the opportunity to see them when I was sharing all the, the, the sector or marathon uh, on the on internet level. And it was like this for all over all over the world. So it was quite interesting to see friends that we didn't have the opportunity to see them uh, years ago. <laughs> yeah, Th that's the good point from uh, uh, this situation. And uh, uh, now we are looking forward to uh, today is the uh, 31 of uh, December, the, the 2020 is uh, at is finished and now we are looking for 2021 and the uh, the the main uh, issue will be the folkloriada but what uh, what do you think that will happen we are not profit but <laughs> no no unfortunately we are not profit but we have to cross our fingers and and really to hope that hoping that we will return to our normal life allowing us to carry out um, next summer all our surf festivals, all our events. And of course, as you say, Mikael, our surf world for Koreada in Ufa in July. And hopefully, uh, I will say that I think we have to wait until springtime here. I will say until uh, March or April to know how will be the situation. But we will encourage all the groups and, and, and groups who are invited to participate to the surf world for Koreada on March and April to start to, to buy the tickets. Of course, because I was in contact with the government of Bashkortostan, we are, uh, we keep in touch and we are in contact and really with the Surf for Koreada committee. And we hope to do that because we have something positive. We have the vaccine and we know that it will take time, but for our groups, it will be maybe the solution to travel and we can try to, to, to think about it. And I think that um, July is not yet, it's coming soon, but we still have time to find the best solution for our groups to travel to Russia, to Bashkortostan. And really, I was just some minutes ago in contact with Amina, the Minister of Culture of Bashkortostan, and she was also saying the same thing as I'm saying now. And she hopes really to receive, to welcome all the 80 countries to Ufa. Uh, from 3 to 11 of July 2021. So we are to cross our finger, but I'm quite sure that positive things are coming, really. And, and um, we have to, to try to, to be in connection all together and to think that we can do that next year. And really, uh, it will be such a pity to cancel it one more time because we will not have the opportunity to do it next, another year after that. So really, cross our fingers. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that everybody can try to, to get in touch with a travel agency. And I'm quite sure that they will accept uh, to wait a little bit more for paying the tickets because how is the situation, how the situation is going on. And I think we can maybe ask the government of Russia and Bashkortostan to, to, to send uh, it's one my, of my idea to get letters for our groups official letters for the travel agency to try to, to not to, to have some problem to pay now the tickets. And if it's not uh, having taking place, it will be complicated. So I'm quite sure that March, April, we will know much better and then we will see. But so really, I, I, I'm very positive for July. Hopefully it will be, it will be the case. So you have to be aware of saying positive. If you are saying positive in the na in the language of the corona, it's not good. But we no, want it to. Do. <laughs> we want it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of all our festivals also in summer because all I will say that 80 percent of our network of our surf festival are taking place in July in August. So it's important also because I know that many of them are are hoping to to receive also the groups and. To to do the festivals maybe it will be a little bit different we will see how it's going on but really we have to to how would i say to cross the fingers and I, and i'm quite sure that we will have a, a good summer not really a real normal one as usual but maybe to do something and to have some some important events for surf it's very important for all our groups for all our national sections for folk uh, i will say network around the world 
And for this culture of peace that we are doing for Sioff, we need to see us, we need to, to, to dance, to have music together, and to share what we know, what we are doing in Sioff. And I think this is the most important. Okay, so we have uh, to say something for all CEOF uh, members. Uh, say it uh, first in English and then in uh, French and uh, in Spanish. That's the <laughs> three languages of uh, our uh, important uh, organization. Yeah, um, well, I wish to, to all of our CEOF members a very happy new year and crossing our fingers for 2021 and stay safe this is the most important all together but really to try to to realize our events next year and we will keep in touch we will see us very soon for sure um quiero bueno desear un feliz año nuevo a todos los miembros del CIOF. realmente fue un año complicado pero pensando que 2021 será el año del reencuentro tenemos eventos muy fuertes y, y realmente esperamos poder realizarlos en todos los países del mundo y, verno, y vernos muy pronto. Yo voudrais, por terminar en francés, uh, vous souhaiter une très bonne année, bonne et heureuse année 2021. 2020 fue très compliqué, très, très dur pour nous tous, pour le monde de la culture, pour nous, uh, membres du CIOF, mais nous espérons qu'en 2021, nous pourrons sortir de cette crise et tous ensemble célébrer tous les événements que nous savons faire au niveau international, nos festivals, les prochaines folkloriades mondiales du CIOF, et tous nous retrouver dans cet esprit de paix et d'amitié. Merci à tous et à très bientôt. Thank you very much, Philippe Boisson, president of CIOF, and we wish everybody will stay safe, healthy, and as you say, we'll cross our fingers. Yes. <laughs> Take care of everybody and see you very soon, of course. We keep in touch and Mikhail and all of Israel and all your team also. Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care.